So thank you all for coming today. Uh, with us here are uh, some of our leadership from APD. And we have two deputy chiefs, uh, Harold, Medina, Harold Medina and Art Gonzalez. So this is Art, and well, Chief Gonzalez and Chief Medina. And then we also have Commander uh, Michelle Campbell uh, from the Southwest Area Command. Now, <clears throat> the purpose of today's uh, discussion, of course, is about our 2018 legislative priorities. And so I'm going to be going up to Santa Fe to visit my former colleagues. Of course, I was up there for six years. And in this case, though, it's a very different situation. Uh, we're gonna be working with our legislators to try and do what we can to help our state's largest city in a time of need. Now, uh, the session starts this Tuesday, and I wanna highlight the following priorities for the city of Albuquerque. Firstly, recall over the course of my campaign, that we talked from folks from all walks of life, and there was even uh, from news outlets and paper, and everyone did polling. By far and away, the number one concern for folks in Albuquerque is public safety. And that was loud and clear uh, throughout the campaign, and it's still true today. So I heard you, and I am making public safety my number one priority for the city of Albuquerque in this legislative session. Now, this is a short session, it's a budget focused session, and accordingly we have a very focused legislative set of priorities. Now historically, mayors and often cities typically have essentially a laundry list or a wish list of every project they might want. We are not doing that anymore. We are going to list a set of items that are actually realistic, that are achievable, and that we will hold uh, our state government for hopefully delivering on. So I'm calling on the legislature and the governor to work together with us to try and help our state's largest city on our immediate funding priorities. And the bottom line is that we all need to step up and get more police officers the resources they need so that we can also instill proper community policing throughout the metro area. So I'm proposing a proven crime fighting and community policing strategies that can help our first responders keep neighborhoods and small businesses safe. These priorities include number one, funding for hiring more officers. Simply put, to fight crime across our city, we have to have more officers. Now that's not the only part of the equation, but it's one of the hardest parts of the equation to solve. And so our brave officers are working hard every day, but we are stretched thin and we need to get them back up. The second thing is police vehicles, especially in a situation of surplus for the state budget. This is a relatively easy way in which the state can actually help out our metro area. APD currently has a need for patrol vehicles to modernize their fleet, and we need to ensure that our officers can respond to calls and emergencies in a timely manner. The third thing, which of course based on my work as state auditor should be a surprise to no one, is to help uh, deal with our rape kit backlog. And as state auditor, I conducted the first ever audit of our backlog and untested rape kits across New Mexico, and we found that nearly 75% of the untested rape kits in our state are right here in Albuquerque. Now, as mayor, I'm committed to finding funding to testing Albuquerque's untested rape kits. When rape kits are tested, DNA evidence can be used to identify and prosecute offenders. Not only do we owe it to each and every survivor, of sexual assault who came forward to end the backlog, but it's also critical for getting those perpetrators off the streets. The fourth priority is our modern radio system. This is one that actually is a regional issue, and the federal government is requiring us to upgrade all our public safety radio systems, and we've talked about this before in the context of our budget, but literally we have to do this so that our state agencies can talk to our largest police department in the state. So when we talk about whether it's Rio Rancho or Valencia County or Sandoval County, anyone in the regional area, and uh, the state police, if we can do this upgrade finally, we can all actually cooperate when it comes to law enforcement uh, using modern technology. Now, in the context of this, of course, is our own city deficit. We have a $40 million budget deficit, and so, Fortunately, we're hoping because the state is in a better situation. Uh, these priorities are extremely difficult to fund on their own, but also coming against a budget deficit that we already have. The last thing is mobile video trailers to uh, deter crime and hotspots. And we have some 
pictures of how these work. These are sort of the generator and the pole goes up and then you get this sort of uh, spray of camera angles in the area. Uh, these have been proven to be extremely effective to stop vehicle theft, of which of course is a huge problem in our community and even around the state. But vehicle burglaries and commercial burglaries have been have shown their largest increase in 2017, uh, the last year. And these mobile video trailers are one of the fastest and most effective ways when deployed in neighborhoods, parks, and businesses, and other hot spots for crime to uh, deter crime in that area. So we're not going to be able to solve all our crime problems overnight. We're not going to be able to solve them all at the legislature. But with new leadership at APD, the folks standing with me today, we are offering a strategic set of priorities that we believe are actually realistic and doable from a legislative perspective and we hope that the governor and the legislature will work with us uh, to make these reality and to help us truly reduce crime right away here in Albuquerque. So I think with that we can take a few questions and obviously there's technical ones and such so we might have some uh, chiefs chime in and uh, any questions. Um, as far as the you said <coughs> thing for hiring more officers, and correct me if I'm wrong, so the budget is already, the budget for the officers is for the amount that we should have. So what would that money be going toward? Like raises or, if that, does that make sense? Yeah, okay. this, this funding is really to increase uh, the rank and file. And at the end of the day, we've got a situation where we're having to use any extra money we have to pay overtime. And that means there's no money left to bring in new officers. And right, if we were to stop and try and bring in new officers, we couldn't adequately police Albuquerque. So financially, this is what's known as a working capital problem. Um, but uh, th these dollars are absolutely critical, and especially because we're facing our own deficit. Uh, but that involves, you know, we have to recruit them, we have to train them, and so you know, these dollars are put to use in every aspect of bringing in more folks. Other questions. Um, yeah, we had another one, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, so, yes or no, <laughs> would you back a return to work legislation? <laughs> So, you know, that's really a legislative issue. Uh, and obviously, I was in the roundhouse for all of those votes and so forth. And I know this, I'm focused on dealing with crime today. And whether or not that passes or not, uh, that is something that uh, will have an impact several years down the road. So I'm going to stay focused on today. All right. Yeah. So <clears throat> asking for the funding for all these things that you pointed out, I mean, are these? is this going to be like, general funding for the city to then allocate or is it going to be very specific to you know getting mobile trailers and then getting more officers and get like yeah. yeah so the answer is actually we in being a legislator up there uh what we shared with you actually maps to the different types of funding so we are asking that the um the radio upgrade be a statewide capital priority so this happens often in the legislature right they'll pick like a dam that needs fixing or a particular interchange like the i-25 interchange something like that we believe that this is a statewide priority so that would be for one-time capital funding and so that list usually the legislature and the governor put that together um, and that's something that is um, typically done where uh, this impacts truly the whole metro area. So it's the county, it's also Sandoval County, it's Rio Rancho, and so uh, because of that, we truly believe it's a statewide priority, and it is. Um, the things like additional cars and the pop-up cameras, that's for the category of like individual capital outlay, right? So those are those, the pork dollars that as auditor I always highlighted. These projects uh, don't take time, and they are also not that expensive relative to capital outlay. So instead of this year for Albuquerque, instead of spending money on you know building buildings and uh, doing all sorts of big road changes, we're saying, you know what, let's stay focused on something that'll help right now. And those are these two things. And so that way there's no delay, there's no accumulation of money like the what's been happening over time with the, the broken capital outlay system. So this actually meets those criteria that I laid out as auditor. Is there an estimated dollar amount <coughs> associated with these um projects? Yeah, there is. And we tried to keep them relatively low dollar uh in in for the 
things like this. So we have the funding for officers. It's my understanding that what the legislature is looking at is they're going to set up a pool of dollars that then essentially cities can apply to. And so that works, but that those dollar amounts, you'd really have to ask them what they're looking at. Uh, our radio system right now is ballparked around $40 million. Um, it could be we're getting bids in now. It could be uh, maybe as low as 20, but either way, that's sort of the statewide priority. Uh, the price for the camera and the car, actually, do you guys remember roughly what those are? I believe they're 64,000 for the cameras. I think 64 for the cameras and 45 for the car. 64,000 for the cameras and 45,000 for the cars. And that's kind of a fully loaded cost, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you think that the solution is lies mainly in hiring more officers? Or do you think there are other issues at play when it comes to the rising crime rate? No. Oh, there's, there's absolutely other issues at play. And that's something I think we've spoken at length about. Uh, especially this notion of a decentralized community policing effort. Uh, there's also, of course, challenges in the legal system that we got to look at. Um, there's bottlenecks in DA's offices, and you know, there's a whole host of issues, including pieces of the DOJ reform, which, of course, I'm committed to doing. However, all of those things are not readily, quickly solvable by the legislature, and that's what this agenda is about. This is something they can come back 30 days from now and say, we made a difference. That's why uh, we're focused on this.